Hey everyone, this is Orly and Jesse coming to you with the monthly video. And um, you know, it's really exciting. We stopped at this great little park um, in Iowa on our way down to one of our events for the weekend, for the May Day weekend. And um, it's just beautiful. You can see finally there's some signs of spring, <laughs> a little bit later than what we would normally find, but it's just beautiful around here. And um, I just had to stop and capture this with the trees around here. And there's actually some blossoms because it's perfect when we see this for this time of year. The May Day weekend, what that does is it really reminds us about union and harmony. And this is really a time for the coming together of the masculine and the feminine energies. And that is such a blessing. We see it in everything. The trees, uh, for example, you know, the trunks of the trees are like the masculine energy. The leaves of the trees are like the feminine energy in it. And this blending is amazing. And some people uh, remember or are familiar with May Day and pole rites and things like that. And what that is, is that's a, a dancing around of the pole uh, with ribbons, uh, colorful ribbons, rainbow colored. And it's celebration. It's a, it's a way of connecting and meeting. And the pole represents the masculine energy and the ribbons represent the feminine energy. And what this is all about is fertility. Um, you know, we're not into the harvest time yet, but we are into the fertility time. And for some people, they go, oh, don't talk to me about fertility. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people that love children out there, but there's a lot of people, too, that, you know, that's not their thing either. So when we look at fertility, it's important for us to still tune into this energy because it is about... Um, the aspect of growing things. It's about giving things the nourishment and the nutrients that it needs in our lives. And it's about what we want to get a harvest from. And for a lot of people, I think just like the earth, they felt like they've been in a very long winter and they feel like they've uh, had a long time <laughs> in the barrenness, so to say, in the wisdom and the soul searching. And and this uh, full moon that we're coming up on is is got some very intense energy, but it's a very real energy. So it's asking us what we really want to be fertile with. It's asking us about, you know, what is at the core of us that we're going to tune in and make fertile in our lives because we still have to take the action even even when the, we're there and it's about tuning into who we really are not uh, for example I ran across uh, somebody today on the trail and they were talking about these walking sticks that they make and he was mentioning oh I put this on it it's supposed to be good luck and when we look at that it's really you know, he says, I'm not so sure it's bringing me good luck. <laughs> and uh, of course, there's the times and there's the energy and there's where we are in our personal cycles and all those great things too. But when we look at it, we each have our own so-called good luck things. And using somebody else's good luck thing is not necessarily what's going to work with us. So it's about discovering deep within us, what is our tools? What is our personal good luck thing, so to say. What is our totems? Those sorts of things. So I ask you at this time to really open up and say, what's inside of me? What's the core part of me that I want to make fertile? Not just what I believe I need to survive in the world, but what is going to bring peace into my life? What is going to fulfill me? That I can't take with me if I leave this world. <laughs> and that's the experiences, you know, the experiences stay with us, the, the thoughts, the memories, the connections. Um, and, and where is my energy synchronized and where is it out of balance? Where's my masculine, my feminine running these days? So think about that with this celebration. It's the time of year and just look, I mean, it's beautiful around here. It's, the land is fertile. We're fertile, and it's a reflection right now of the energy that we have to work with. So don't miss it. Don't lose it. Take advantage of it. Take care, and I'll see you next month. And remember, you can check out all of my work and what venues are going on and what events you can partake in by just going over to my website, as well as the monthly specials, radio shows, and all the great things to follow up with. And those can be found on my website, Jessie Ann Nichols George, the number one. 
Take care until next month.